for the bridal bouquet. But don't forget the bridal party. You'll need a mini bouquet for your maid of honor. Why not think pink? Peter adds some greenery and perfects the handle by winding a rosy ribbon around the base. Always a bridesmaid ain't so bad with this bunch. The groom will need a boutonniere. A white rose looks sophisticated. And of course, you can't forget the reception. A giant arrangement of yellow roses is a great choice for spring or get crazy with color. But no matter what you choose, we're sure it will be beautiful. But when it comes to confections, they take the cake at the Mona Lisa Bakery in Brooklyn, USA. We went behind the scenes of this confectioner's dream as we came to see the construction of our cannoli cake. First, Charlie prepped the layers. Cake on the outside, cannoli cream on the inside. Once these three bad boys were stacked, Michael got to decorating with a little icing. We like when we create something different, something out of the ordinary. This way, you know, every day is not the same old thing. Next, he arranged the roses, a little green leaf to make them look realistic, then add strands of pretty pearls. And the finishing touch is the lovely bride and groom that goes on top of the cake. Voila. But this isn't the only cake they bake at the Mona Lisa. Every bride needs something blue. How about the baked goods? Accented with edible sugar flowers, this one's cute for the country club. Then there's the traditional round four tier with white icing, also with edible flowers. Or try this all white five square layers with pearl accenting, simply stunning. Your bridesmaids will be green with envy when it comes to this cake. The colorful icing gives it a cool twist. And you can order online at www.monalisabakery.com. Coming up, want to look like a buff bride coming down the aisle? My trainer Ray will work you out. And how about a bit of relaxation before the big day? We put stress to the test at the Stone Spa. Next on Tony on Tying the Knot. Okay, every bride wants to beautify, and some say it's not that tough if you want to be buff. What's going on, boys? Let me introduce you to my trainer, Ray Ray, and his crazy world of fitness. You may have seen his work on the Discovery Network's Buff Brides, and he is just in time to help tired old Tony out. You gotta work on leaning down your arms, your shoulders, your triceps, your biceps, your pectoralis, your chest area, and of course, your upper back. Second part, is the stomach. On the other hand, yeah, you may not see it in a dress, but when it comes down to honeymoon time, you get that bikini going, you want to make sure the midsection is looking phenomenal. So you want to make sure you get some good core training. And the last part, of course, are your thighs and the booty. You got to make sure the butt is up high in the sky and tight. All right, Ray, let's get to work. Plenty of chest presses were in my future. Push, 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 push. So bottom Sorry. line is your core. Push-ups on the ball help arms and core concurrently. One-legged dips also do the trick, and Ray Ray's take on Twister will whittle the middle. Excellent, good, that's it. Side-stepping squats will surely tighten the thighs and boost the booty, and the other butt buster says, bring out the step. And just after seven weeks, we were ready to measure my results. First the thigh, then the arms, and then the middle. Good, Tony. I, okay. If I remember I correctly, the numbers are different. Oh my god, I went down yes. from 25.9 to, to 21. A little over 4% in seven weeks. If you can't train one-on-one -on -one with Ray, no worries. Just check out his killer conditioning class. Look at the lunges, some pretty perplexing push-ups, and just get ready for jumping jacks and a whole lot of running around in reverse. In no time, it will make you look super fun. Oh my god. He's trying to kill us! And if getting buff hasn't beaten your bridal stress, now you have the perfect excuse to splurge on yourself and take a trip to the spa. We snuck into New York City Stone Spa to sample their special massage, where heated stones are used to help soothe away stress. Stone massage is an ancient healing technique. It's been used for a long time since the Native Americans, and the stones are really helping to penetrate deeply inside of the muscle, just soothing away tension and stress, bringing warmth into the body. But this isn't your average boulder. They're basalt river rocks, and placed in between the toes, it's a slice of heaven on earth. Next, it's time for a trip to the salon to shape up your hair. Charles Worthington is just the man for this task, as we ask him to make up 
five different brides. Miss Romantic, a bit of glamorous, an avant-garde, a classic cutie, and a must, the minimalist. The minimalist look was about creating something that's very simple, very shiny, very sleek. Um, so with Jade's hair, what I actually did was I first of all set it on rollers, because that's always a really good basis, because it gives your hair volume and makes it easy to work. Then pulled her hair up into a very simple ponytail, using those ponytail bands that have got a little hook on each end, so you can wrap it round and it keeps it really nice and tight, because on the wedding day it needs to last all day long. And the key product that I actually used for Jade was actually serum. Um, and that gives it the most fantastic gloss and really, really polished finish. Kate is my avant-garde bride, um, and I wanted to give her something that was very edgy, a bit cool, a bit daring, and then literally down the center of the head, I just pulled up sections of hair into about six little ponytails along the middle of the head, um, which almost gives you like a Mohican. And then what I did was, like, she's got very, very long hair, twisted the sections of, sections of hair, and almost tied it in a knot, but leaving the ends to sprout out, and then masses and masses of hairspray to hold it in place. Sarah is our romantic bride. Sarah's got naturally curly hair, but often naturally curly hair can be a little bit fluffy and a bit frizzy as well. So what we want to do, obviously for a very special day, is make the curls look glossy and defined. Then to actually dress um, Sarah's hair, again I used a bun ring on the crown, just pinning it onto the crown, and then very loosely and very freehand just pinning up the curls. Megan is our classic bride and I wanted her to look very Grace Kelly. So to start the look off, um, I actually sprayed in some root lift mousse from the big hair range, which really gives hair substance to, and makes it easier to work with. Sprayed that in at the root area, blast the hair off, and then the top section was set in heated rollers, and the bottom section was flipped out with a round brush. And then literally used a very simple pearl headband to hold the hair back off the face that just gives you that very, very classic feel and really does show off a beautiful bone structure. Jamie is our glamorous bride, and we wanted to go for full-on glamour, which means big hair. So I wanted to um, create lots of volume and lots of curl. Jamie's actually got very fine straight hair, um, but it just shows you that if you use the right product, you can create real substance and chunkiness in hair. So I used the big hair styling spritz, sprayed it through the hair first of all, blasted the hair off dry, um, and then again set the hair in heated rollers, spraying as you go. Spray each section with a bit of hairspray before you put the roller in and that way again the curl will last a lot longer and it gives you masses and masses of root lift. Congratulations ladies and see you in the salon. Coming up, how to make your wedding truly unique with some awesome entertainment. Next on Tony On Tying the Knot. Alright, now that everything's almost done, it's time to have a little fun adding your personal touch. If you're looking for some truly unique entertainment, why not take it from Tony and hire the one, the only, Jorge. This is, this is Jorge. He's with us 19 years now. And um, he's almost like family to us. Mm -hmm. And people come, not just from New York, we have tourists that come from all over the world, including in Europe, just to hear this man. But I wanted to see what this music man was made of. Jorge can do more than an aria. He's got what it takes to take you back on the classic Cassia. Seems to shine. Love you have too much wine. That's a more. There's a ring, ling, 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 ling. And he will surely keep even the smallest of your wedding party partying on the dance floor all night long. And don't forget to plan your great escape. Now, getting away from it all doesn't necessarily mean going very far. There are some great ideas online at historichotels.org, where we found the Ohika Castle, only 38 miles outside of Manhattan. Now, speaking of honeymoons, I gotta get going on mine, so I'll see you next time on Tony On. <laughs>